What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to change the spark plugs in a Mazda 3. Alright, the tools you're going to need are a ratchet, extension, 5 8 inch spark plug socket, small ratchet, small extension, 8 millimeter, 15 millimeter, and your Porsche spark plugs. I'll leave the link down below in the description. And a torque wrench with an adapter to fit the extension. Here's a look at the spark plug socket. It's got a little rubber boot on the inside there. And that kind of grips onto the spark plug and makes it easy to pull it out. First thing you're going to do is remove the engine cover. You remove it by firmly pulling up on it and it should pop right off. And these are your four coil packs. Your spark plugs are located underneath these. And these two posts for the engine cover need to be removed also. To remove the two posts, you need a 15 millimeter socket, but also remember these are plastic, so go very easy with these. You do not want to break them. Next, you can use your eight millimeter deep socket or wrench to remove the posts that hold on the coil packs. There's one, two, three, and four. Then you'll want to remove them all by hand. The next thing you'll want to do is remove the connectors from the coil packs. You do this by pressing firmly down on the tab and pulling straight out from the connector. Then remove the coil pack by pulling straight up you can be very careful with these, they're pretty expensive if you need to replace them. Here's what it looks like. The spark plug goes right at the end there. It's hard to get a good focus on it, but the spark plug is right down in the hole there. So next we take it out. So now you take the 5 8 inch spark plug socket with extension, insert it down in the hole, make sure it clicks onto the spark plug, then loosen it up. And these spark plugs have been in for almost 95,000 miles. So they're a little bit difficult to get out, but in most cases you should be able to get them out, no problem. And here's a look at the old spark plug. It's got some carbon built up on the end there. Um, the electrode's a little bit worn down, so it was, it was time to do. The spark plugs I like are NGKs. Um, these are iridium. So they get, should be good for another 100,000 miles or so. I'll leave a link for these down in the description below. Um, so you want to take them out and just make sure they're the same spark plug before you insert them. Then you're going to take the new plug, insert it into the 5 8 inch spark plug socket. Make sure it's engaged. Then slowly insert it into the cylinder head. And do this all by hand. Don't use tools other than the socket. And slowly hand tighten it. And one more thing to note, NGK and most other spark plug brands do not want you to use anti-seize when uh, putting new spark plugs in. This messes with the torque specs and it's not recommended at all. As you have the spark plug seated, you're going to take your torque wrench and tighten it down to a torque spec of 10 pound-feet. Then take your coil pack and slowly and carefully reinsert it into the cylinder head and make sure it seats nicely under the spark plug. Then reattach the connector by simply pressing it straight in. Make sure you hear a satisfying click. Then it's time to repeat the process on the remaining three plugs.
The next thing you're going to want to do is reinstall the studs that hold the coil packs in. First tighten them by hand. Then take your 8mm deep socket and tighten down the studs and keep your hand on the coil pack so they don't twist as you're tightening them. Then reinstall the plastic studs on the second and fourth metal studs and hand tighten them. Then with a 15mm socket, retighten this plastic studs very lightly. You do not want to crack these. Then reinstall the engine cover by putting it over the plastic studs and pushing down firmly in all four corners. Then shut the hood and start up the car. Alright guys, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and also the like and the notification bell. And remember, all the links for the tools and the spark plugs are in the description below. And we'll see you on the next one. Oh, and one more thing. Be sure to check out all my other Mazda 3 maintenance videos.